Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take a look inside the newly released Battlestation 2nd Edition. It's from Guerrilla Games. This is a reprint of, a, uh, of, a, of an earlier game that's extremely popular. It's kind of a, uh, an RPG board game hybrid, so I've never played it, heard good things, and wanted to take a look at it. Um, going to do a shrink rip here. Uh, as you can see, the the shrink got a little messed up in shipping, that's not their fault. And then the box is heavy. So there's a dent here, but unfortunately that's my fault. As I was setting up for the video, I I dropped it and hit the corner of the table. So it came in great condition, a little bit of shrink peelage, but that's no big deal. So let's crack it open here and we look at the back. It weighs at least 10 pounds. Um, so it's a... So you got these, uh, you got miniatures, you've got, uh, it's kind of a unique hybrid in that, um, not only is it a hybrid of RPG and board game, but it's also a hybrid of uh, miniatures on a ship and a miniature in space. Um, so as your ship flies around and does things, and you know, your crew is doing stuff inside the ship, uh, the ship's made up of these tiles. Um, there's a huge variety of tiles, huge variety of miniatures. There's uh, an advanced rule book that's not included with this game that does include some solo and co-op missions and rules. Um, you can either buy the hardback, I think it's retail is about 60 bucks, and uh, but you can get a uh, a PDF version at drive through uh, RPG, um, those, those that family of sites. You can get the rule book as well. I think it's only about $25. And then just print the sections you need or just refer to it. So uh, without further Adieu. We will crack this open. Very excited to see how this works. It comes with pre predefined characters, but using the advanced rules, you can also generate your own characters, your own scenarios. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Oh, mercy. It is a beast. I thought uh, old school tactical was heavy. This one, this one beats that one. For sure. So let's crack it open here. So definitely want to make sure it's clear that you do not get the advanced rule book in the game. Um, set this off to the side. I don't have any room. Because um, some people have expressed confusion that the advanced rule book, they, th they think it's in here and it's not. Uh, it was, a, I believe, a Kickstarter add on. If you got the Kickstarter version, this is the, uh, the retail version, I believe. So. I believe this is actually already available in stores. Uh, I think I saw it on Miniature Market. Uh, I know Funnigan Games probably has it as well because they were doing the Kickstarter fulfillment. So, start it off as we usually do with the rule book. This is the Rules of Engagement, a quick start guide. Glossy, glossy paper. Um, 32 pages, so very definitely a quick start guide. Get you right into it. Beautiful full color artwork. Contents, sections. I love when they have a setup guide. I also love that they did not feel the need to make the rule book this big. Like a lot of games are doing now. You get a square box, you get a big square rule book. Pain in the butt. So this does not have that fortunately. It's a standard size book. Alright. Explains the cards, explains the ship modules, which are those tiles I was telling you about. Um, so in the normal game, I believe there's a, like, uh, uh, Imperial Assault, there's a, there's a opponent who's running the aliens or the invaders. And then someone, you know, and then the, the rest of the team's running the, the characters on the ship. Um, and like I said, there are some AI and, and co-op rules in the advanced rule book. So, uh. If you want to do that, you can check that out, or, or you can pretty much play it as you know, just as a war game, uh, you know, playing against yourself. So, here's your missions. So the rules go to page 11, all right, and then the missions start on 12, and go all the way to the end. So, except for the miscellany at the end, uh, there is an index which is awesome, keyword index. That's great, and there's an action summary on the back, so you can refer to it. Set that aside. Now we got our cardboard. Oh my gosh, my finger is still going down. Ah, uh, that. I don't even know if I can show you. 
That's the cardboard you're getting. And it's thick cardboard too. They did not skimp here. Has an organizer at the bottom, which is awesome. Uh, character sheets for your missions. You get a pad of those. Go ahead and throw that down there. Because we've got all of these pieces of cardboard we're going to go through. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'll put them over here and I'll bring them up at the time. That may be the easiest way to do it. All right. So we've got just various counters. They are well registered. They punch very cleanly. I wonder what the smaller ones are. Are these like hallways? We'll find out. Because I thought the uh, the uh, room counters for the ship were a little bit larger. So, but we'll find out as we do it. You get that sheet of counters. One. Another sheet with some identical. In fact, it's 100% identical, so you get two of those. In fact, you get three of those. Ah, here we go. Here's the rooms. All right, so you get four to a sheet, right? And you got, they punch out, they're double-sided. So this is the cannon, the cannon room. And you get the 5x5 five five grid on it for moving your your figures. And I believe this, so like the cannon is a, is a battle station, hence the name. And to control the cannon, you have to be on the star. You can't just be in the room. Um, so you, you, know, you guys to rush down here, get to here, fire the cannons. Sounds pretty cool. Alright, so there's some duplicates here. So I guess because it's for redundancy, so you can have, so like the helm here. There's another sheet here that's got a second helm. It's not the sheet. It's not 100% identical, right? But there's another helm. So in case you want to use this engine... Versus this engine. I don't know why you would do that, but maybe you have two engines and you don't have a helm. Who knows? But they're very good quality. They're kind of they're kind of glossy, so you're going to reflect light a little more than a matte finish would. But still pretty cool. And you see the helm has three stations, battle stations that you can get to, and the engine has two, so you can repair or work on the engines. Ooh, ooh, getting excited. I was excited when I first heard about this. But wait, there's more. There's another helm. We've got a science bay, sick bay, hyperdrive. A lot of thought went into this. These are all named rooms. So we have another engine. Uh, you got straight up cargo bay that you can you can use to uh, to store things you find. More cannons. Ooh, look at this. You can build a ship with a cloaking device. They have teleporters, uh, missile bays. Mine layers. More engines. So I don't think you're gonna have problems like in uh, <laughs> putting a ship together. So I have lost, totally lost count of the number of sheets you're getting here. One, two, three, four, five. We've gone through seven already. They punch very easily. So here's eight. Oh, yeah, they're gonna come right out. There's number eight. Number nine. I think you build the uh, some enemy ships too in case you need to board. That's why there's duplicates of things. Ten. Eleven. Wow, a lot of cardboard in this. Eleven. Twelve. All right. So we're getting these are these are the ship tiles. So uh, there are forty-eight ship tiles, so that explains 12 times 4, uh, is 48, although we had the others too, so we'll probably have some more ship tiles here, um, yeah, so we've got some reference sheets, you got your action, you got an action reference, it's kind of nice, you can just have that on the table, and another engine, if you need it, uh, control board, shows your speed, your guns, uh, your helm, all right, your shields, so you can adjust those levels. It's got, also got a tile in the back. Now we've got the space tiles. Looks like. So this has a hex grid on it. I don't know that you can see it in this resolution. But these go together. Right, and form. So yeah, there we go. Half, half tile, half tile, maybe. Let's see if we can get those together somehow. That is... That is a little strange. So there's a half tile and a half tile 
connection there. Uh, but I don't think they're supposed to be randomly assembled like this. The, the, the hex field uh, does not end smoothly. Like it's split here and it's on the half there. And it's on the half here, but then for some reason here it's right on the line. Now, that may be explained here in the setup, but I'm just noticing that, that it's not an even distribution on each of those tiles. It's some asteroids, obviously. Got another sheet of that. All right. Lots of tiles, man. Another sheet of that. And now we've got full, and that may be why these don't matter is you got these full hex tiles. And these are even. Yeah, they're perfectly lined up so they would butt together. So we get this tile. Alright, so that's your ship's going to be moving around on that. And then inside your ship you're going to be dealing with other crises as they happen. So you got, let's see, four, four of those. So, I lost count. There's a lot of cardboard. Maybe you, maybe you counted with me. It's like 17 or 18 thick sheets of cardboard, and that explains why it's so darn heavy. Okay, so I set aside all the, the stack and stack of cardboard here, and we're going to open this. I assume the miniatures are inside this white box, but also inside the other side of the tray that you couldn't see. We have a deck of cards, two decks of cards. Okay, we're just going to uh, plot twists, things that are going to happen to you. And then there's one thing in a minute. We've got uh, beads for probably tracking on those tracking boards. And then bases, which will snap onto the characters. And then I'll help you identify the characters or the enemies. And then a bunch of dice, right? So you got, what have we got? Eight regular six sided die. And one large white six sided die. This has got to be one of the biggest dice I've ever seen. That wasn't just for comedy effect. Or in the old game, High Rollers. There's, a, there's Alex Trebek. Sweet. Cool. Alright, so eight, eight, eight little dice and Mama Die. So let's check out the cards real quick, I guess. Just to see what they're like. They feel smooth, which is good. I'm not a big fan of linen finish because they tend to stick together. All right, so these are these are all plot twist cards. So I don't want to give anything away, but just look at this one here: botched maintenance. Leave one used marker on each module that has one instead of clearing them all off. So I guess there's a maintenance phase, and it's screwed up. So cool. So these are all plot twists. These obviously are not all plot twists. These apparently are character reference cards. Let's take a look inside of those. They are standard size. Uh, glossy finish. Look thin. If you sleeve, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. Not a big sleever anymore. Alright, so we have character cards. Jim James Jim. He is a Blutian. This is his race. And we've got a Part Strap, which is a Chronosian. A Minutian named Indigo. And then we have an advanced side. These are advanced characters, I guess. Haoomp, which is a whaleoid. Quoth, which is a kerbite. They got their different stats and their abilities. So you'd have these. Uh, Leaf Poot is a fungaloid. He's got poot coming out. Oh gosh. Insert name. It's a trundleian. Pretty funny. Stale sweat. All right, crocodilian. Awesome. So. And you got silicoids, so the, that's the end of the advanced guys, I guess. And we ended up with some some basic characters here too. Uh, elephantoid. And I think there's minis for each of these, right? Oh, and if I'm not mistaken here. You got the colors, and there's a color here on each one, All right? There's blue, there's yellow, green, red. So it's going to match their uh, player character. So that's cool. So we got a lot of character choices here, right? Do I see any humans at all? Do they hate humans? Oh no, they don't like it. Oh, there's one. Wilkins. Hey, Wilkins. Hey, Garrity. All right, so we do have some humans. I tend to be of the uh, xenophobic human 
I like I like humanoid characters. So, but these these will be fun to play some some variations of alien races. But let's take a look at the miniatures now. Let's see what we got here. A box of bags. Bags of miniatures. So that's the small one, and then we got a couple of big ones. There's the elephantoid. Right, he's a big guy. I want to just zoom in a little bit here so you can see the detail on the miniatures. This guy's pretty hulky. His, his uh, hammer here and his tusks. It looks like he's got a he's holding a laser gun here in his in his trunk too. Alright, so then we got uh, I am the Eggman. A, uh, I assume he's a robot. He's very egg shaped. I guess you could uh, call him Humpty Dumpty or something like that. And he is huge. And I'm not seeing a whole lot of flashing. I guess there's some there, but it's, it's pretty good. Pretty good. A little bend of the gun there. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. And we have baggies, ooh, minis. I love that they're not, apparently none of them are assembly required, which is good. So I'll just go ahead and reach out and kind of dump them on out. I did not see any bad guy cardboard, so I assume the bad guys are minis too. So lots of detail on these. Not sure, yeah, yeah this resin or Plastic. It's kind of the same plastic as uh, I think Gears of War. Very interesting species here. There's a crocodilian. Pretty cool. Lots of plastic. There's a robot with an arm coming out of his belly and a knife and a gun. Got another one of those guys here. Now that's interesting, this guy has a hole here. He looks like this guy. So maybe there's a loose, loose arm here. I don't know, but he's got a hole there. Maybe he, maybe he poots out of it or something, I don't know. All right. I'm not gonna go through all of these. Just get a general idea of the, of the uh, condition. Look at some different ones here. Is a, Here's a mellow mushroom alien with tentacles. It's like the the uh, like something out of Lewis Carroll, like they had children or something with the with the caterpillar. Another insectoid with a nude. The cool thing is these are the ones that fit the ones that came with the game, right? So you can make your own characters and proxy them whatever miniatures you want. Right? Here's a worm type creature. And another robot. And we got this guy. Looks like a lion head. So he's not cowardly anymore. And another insectoid. And here's a here's a Crouching wolf, coyote looking dude. All right, looking like a fox, but it pounce. So you get lots of plastic, lots of cardboard. You get dice and cards and a 32 page rule book. I'm not even gonna bother trying to pack all this up on camera. You get a lot in Battle Station 2nd Edition. It's a heavy box. Look for it online and uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.